So we're up here on the roof of our new Sierra Hall building and our um, runoff that we get from rain flows up here on the roof goes down in this case to our so-called green roof. It's not exactly a green roof, um, but our planter areas here. And so this runoff, the first BMP that we have here is instead of having this water just boosh, run off right down the storm drain, it's gonna hit this area. It's gonna have to permeate through this matrix and that's gonna slow down the speed of the water that um, is gonna be mixing um, into the storm drain system. So that's gonna be helpful uh, is the first step. Let's go down and see what else is going on downstairs. So now we're out here be between Sierra Hall and our Manzanita Hall. And what we see here is an example of poor sediment management practices. So um, this is obviously because we, we just pulled the construction folks out. Um, but this area is all denuded. If I get down low here, you can see that there's a clear slope to this place, right? So over here we have a high uh, elevation, down over here low, and then really low sort of down the corner there. So the ideal best man, and this is just a storm drain, this is just opening to the a storm drain system. So this is just an unprotected drain. So sediment, and you can see right now, sediment is uh, from the last uh, little rains or watering. It's moved, the sediments move from here onto here and then down inside. And so if we had a big storm event, a lot of this sediment is going to be mobilized, go straight in there, and then go straight into the our river systems and our coastal systems. So the ideal thing here would be to put some type of a barrier around this guy, maybe some sausages, even if we just go to um, uh, Home Depot and get a couple sausages, rebar them in, stake them in, that'll create a barrier so that at least we can protect the, the largest particles of sediment from getting down in there. Another example of a BMP that uh, has been used is if we look over here, um, so we're on our, our main pathway here that people are accessing the building uh, with. Um, over here on this side, what we have is um, we could have just made this cement um, or we could have made it uh, sediment or uh, 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 soil. Uh, what we've done is we've done sort of an in between. So we might need to have a fire truck that needs to get in here, might need to park over here and get access or some heavy equipment or to clean the windows or something. So what we've done is um, this is a common technique, um, people are using more and more now. We came in and we had essentially what looks like an egg crate of plastic. So we have tubes here, so we put some of these tubes here, they're connected by little pieces of plastic and, uh, and it's a rigid structure. Put those guys down first and then take the fill, the, the, the sediment, the soil and put that down over it and then we have a planting matrix. So this is beginning to be revegetated and so we, want, we eventually want this totally covered with, with plants to reduce erosion. Um, but it also is permeable, right? So when it rains, the water comes in, it goes down into the ground. Um, so better than pure concrete, but yet also it gives us a structural support. So if we were to drive a truck on here, it wouldn't crush and deform the soil. Another example of a, of a type of BMP that, that's, that's not uh, exactly the same as concrete is over here where our bikes are parked. So this is decomposed granite. And so this is um, a hard substrate. So you wouldn't want to have this everywhere necessarily unless you wanted a big bocce ball court. But this is an area we have bikes, a lot of heavy traffic. And so we want it to be robust. Um, there is some amount of percolation, although this is really heavily compacted. Um, but this is uh, another example of having a matrix of different, um, of different uh, rugosities to, to slow water down. This is a fairly flat area where we are right now pretty flat, um, but nevertheless, um, having a mixture of substances will help us uh, reach our both, um, in this case, we can have some uh, permeability going on here, over here maybe not so much, but this mix of, of surfaces will aid us in overall improving water quality, overall reducing non-point source runoff here uh, at Sierra Hall on the CSUCI campus.